Hello again and welcome back to this series of how to make uh, videos. Um, in an earlier video in this series I showed you how to make this uh, moving toy. It's a cam driven crocodile toy and if I turn it round you can see that when you turn the handle a cam mechanism pushes a lever which opens and closes the crocodile's head. And as you may know, I run uh, design technology workshops in primary schools here in, in uh, the UK. And this is one of my most popular workshops. I work do this with year five and sometimes with year six. And I must have made hundreds of these. Now I designed this about 20 years ago. I keep saying that I'm going to come up with a different design. I finally got around to doing it. Um, dinosaurs are very popular everywhere, particularly in primary schools. So I've designed a, uh, a moving dinosaur toy and of course it's our old friend Tyrannosaurus Rex. The actual mechanism is exactly the same as used, uh, almost exactly the same as used in the crocodile, but I thought I'd make um, another video to show precisely how to make the dinosaur. So the first thing we need to do is to colour in our design and then we need to uh, cut it out. Um, if the pupil scissor skills are very good they can attempt to cut out the whole thing but I'm going to take the easier option and cut out around the dotted line. You still have to go around its tail here and then you've got this tricky bit here. It's quite difficult to cut the teeth out. This is going to be a test of their scissor skills around the top here. I don't need the head till later. Then that corner, down here, around the tail that actually sticks out. I've actually photocopied this onto thin card to make it uh, a bit more robust. And along the bottom here, we don't need the head tool later, so we'll put that to one side. And now we've got to cut out these um, teeth. I need quite good scissors to do this. There we go. That's the way I do it. I go down one way first and then cut out the triangles in between the teeth. It's worth doing well. Tyrannosaurus Rex is of course famous for his dagger-like teeth. There we go. So that's the, just pull out these bits, and that's the main body with the teeth cut out. The next thing we're going to do is to glue it to this piece of 3mm Corex. Um, this is available as a class pack, like the crocodile. And uh, when I run the workshop I use spray glue, but I think we're going to use stick glue here. Don't put too much on. And of course with stick glue always wind it back and put the top back on again. Now when we stick it on we use that top left corner as a reference point. And there we go. And we flatten it down. Now before the glue has a chance to really dry I just want to cut that top right corner off. Um, we could use ordinary scissors uh, but I've got some card cutting scissors here. So I'm just going to cut it below the bottom of the teeth, but I'm not going to cut that corner off, I'm just going to go up here, so it's almost like a triangle that you're cutting off. There we are, that's the bit that I've cut off. And then if I stick that back down again, it might need a bit more glue. Can you see now how I've just stuck it, cut it off just below the bottom of the teeth? Next thing we're going to do is to make the hole where the handle is going to be. Uh, easy way to do this is with a sharp pencil, but uh, to be safe, I encourage pupils to either push it through between the gap between two tables, or to use uh, a sponge sanding block. So we can now just push down into the sponge block. Once the pencil's through, it's much easier to be safe and keep your fingers out of the way. And we push the whole pencil through and wiggle it about a bit to make sure that hole is big enough for the axle. Okay. 
Now we're going to use um, homemade cam. I've drilled out a second hole into this wheel. We could use uh, a proper cam. This is a pair cam, but these are quite expensive, so I prefer to make my own. And we're going to use some five millimeter dowel. And to make this a tight fit, I drilled these holes out to 4.8 millimeters. This is all done for you if you buy the class pack. Um, the handle itself is an MDF wheel, and again, um, I've drilled both holes out this time to 4.8 millimeters. The existing 4 millimeter hole and a new second hole to 4.8. Now it's quite easy to get this wrong. First of all, before I start hammering it in, get the sanding block again and just sand off the corners, the edges of the piece of the dowel. This is going to be the axle, this very small bit. This bit's going to be the handle. It's called chamfering. You can see how I'm holding it at an angle and turning it just to get those rough corners off. And that's going to help us to hammer it in. Now it's very easy to get this wrong. The short axle goes into the centre hole of the MDF wheel. And we're just going to tap it in with a small hammer. Shouldn't need any glue. You can hear the sound change, it means you reach the other side. And that is very tight. I'm struggling to actually pull that out. Now this has obviously got to go in the other hole, but it goes on the other side. Have you got that? And to hammer this in, we put the whole thing on the edge of the table and then tap it in. So now we can assemble the mechanism. The short axle goes through the hole in the toy. Now if you've got strong fingers, we're going to push the axle into the outside hole. You might be able to push and twist this on. If it's too tight, then get it started and then gently tap it down a bit more. That's as far as I can go because the table gets in the way. To tap it through more you could use the gap between two tables or get two bits of wood, make a, a bridge, put it over the bridge and now you can tap it down a bit more. Don't ram them together tightly, leave a little gap to make sure that the handle turns easily. Can you see the cam going up and down there? That's working really nicely. We're now going to make a part of the mechanism that's called the follower that's going to be pushed up and down by the can. For this we need a piece of 4mm dowel, this is about 14cm long, and a rectangle of 4mm corex with the flutes running down that way, and we push the piece of 4mm dowel into the corex, not all the way through, about halfway through is plenty. And this is going to slide up and down in the straw. Um, Unlike the crocodile, we only really need half of this piece of straw. And that's going to slide in there. And we're going to stick the straw down to the back of the toy so that the follower is directly above the cam. But before we stick it down, we must make sure that the cam has got enough room to turn round. Can you see what's happening there? If I stuck the straw down there, can you see there isn't room for the cam? to go all the way around. The follower is bashing up against the bottom of the straw. So to avoid that happening, turn the cam to its highest point. That's its lowest point. That's its highest point. Now put the follower directly above it. And then I like to move it up a little bit more just to be on the safe side. Put it down on the edge of the table and stick the straw down. Two pieces of tape, one near the top and one near the bottom of the straw. And check that the mechanism is working nicely. Yes, that's working really nicely. Now, with that straw should really be level with the top so that the push rod is exposed. We can't cut it off with the push rod inside, so temporarily we'll just pull that push rod out, then cut the straw off level with the top, like that, pop the push rod back in again, and can you see now it's popping in and out? Now, where the cam is at its lowest, the push rod should just disappear. So I've just pushed it down inside the follower. Can you see now it's level with the top? And when I turn the handle, you can see it's popping out the top of the straw. That's just about right. So that's our mechanism working. We're now going to make a lever to get a larger movement to make the di dinosaur's head open up more. For that we need um, a hinge, 
a small block of wood and two bits of wood stuck together. When I run the workshop I actually do this final assembly for them with a glue gun. If I had more time I'd let them do it. First thing I'm going to do is to glue the block of wood to the corner of the toy like that. Then I'm going to glue the hinge to the block of wood like that. Make sure that the hinge can come all the way down. Then I'm going to glue the blocks of wood to the top. I'm going to do a zigzag of glue along the top here. And if you can see that, and then glue the blocks of wood on top. Because they're heavy, can you see that it's making the, the hinge fall? And we've got a nice surface there now that we can glue the top of the head. We'll just cut this head out. Round we go. Once again, we've got the difficult part of cutting the teeth out. I think year five should be able to do this. I'm going to do this very quickly. Should really take more time to do this. There we go. And now cut out in between the teeth. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm sure T Rex had more teeth than that, but there we are. Just cutting out the gaps now in between the teeth, making sure that it doesn't have to go to the dentist. There we go, and two more to do. And we've cut, we've got our head all cut out. Just pull that little bit out there. There we go, there's our head cut out. And finally, I'm going to glue the top of the head to the main body, but I like to get the teeth actually lined up perfectly. I'm a bit fussy about that. So let's put some glue along that surface there. And then while the glue's wet, we've got a few seconds to adjust it to get those teeth lined up. There we go. And now, hopefully... If I turn the handle, can you see now? Oh, we've just got a triangle there that we didn't pull out. Let's just pull that. There we are. And now, when I turn the handle, can you see that the mechanism is working really nicely? Got a very terrifying T-Rex there. If I turn it round and turn it, can you see how it's working? It's pushing on that lever to get a larger movement. Um, so I hope you enjoy making this variation on the crocodile. This is a, a moving toy um, to Anasaurus Rex. Oh, just one more thing. In an earlier video I showed you this very strange puzzle here. It's um, a seemingly magic light bulb that lights up all by itself. How strange. Well, I'm sure you probably worked out what's happened here. Uh, if I tip the sand away, can you see what I've done? I've actually um, removed the glass from another bulb. Can you see that? And glued it on top of a second bulb there. So I'm sorry about that, uh, but I'm sure that most of you worked out how I did that. So anyway, I hope you enjoy making this uh, moving T-Rex toy. Thanks for watching.